beautiful building. It's called Seoul Sophia Singapore and the building it looks right like this right over here. So here is Sean right over here. So you have to come in right over here because that it's a Wuhan virus uh, period. So everyone have to do a temperature screening for the contact tracing. So you have to write down your name and your contact number. And then the lobby for check-in will be right over there. I'll just go to check-in first and then while Sean uh, fill in all the details. And then here is a lobby. Are you like to check in? Uh, other than do the screening for at the entrance, your uh, the guests also have to require to fill in this form. Right over here on the floor, there's a red color tape. It's cause and now currently is like serving the social distance, so make sure that no one that be too near to you. This is the welcome drink with the butterfly pea juice and then lime juice as well. So. Butterfly pea is uh, actually is blue color, but after once you mix with the lime juice, you become purple. Is it nice? <laughs> Refreshing. Check in is very fast and very professional. So our room today is the so classic, right? What's the name of so cozy? So it's at level three three one zero. So you have to tap in the car to go to the room. The room card holder is, looks like this. As an Echo Plus member, get another two glasses of welcome drinks for free. Our room today is on the third floor. It's 310. Let's go and check it out now. Oh, 310 is here. So, let's Oh, okay. Welcome. So, immediately when you come in, um, there's this weird looking chair-like thing over here. <laughs> I'm not sure why is it. There's a full-length mirror uh, for you to check your grooming before you go out. And then on my right hand side, shall I go to the toilet first? So on my right hand side is where the... Maybe on the light first. Alright, um, okay, the bathroom light, the, the light box. Okay, so uh, it's a small toilet uh, with one sink and with all the amenities like tissue paper and soap all lined up with uh, a big um, tube of body lotion. And it's called, the brand is called Urban uh, Forest. Mm, not much of a smell. Uh. Uh, my hand sanitizer is stronger than this, so I cannot really smell it. Okay, and then there's a porcelain throne without a bidet. Okay, and let's check out what this is. It's a uh, uh, his and hers, I think it's an amenity box. It's, it looks very exquisite. So if you open it, it's just a normal stuff like, you know, your toothbrush, sanitary bag, cotton pads, um, rubber band. To hairbrush, so this is the hearse. So let's take a look at what is inside his drawer. Uh, it's the same, but uh, except that there's a razor with the shaving cream as well as a comb in place of the hairbrush. And then uh, there's a rain shower as well this as is very a, cute. yeah. <clears throat> so so the hanger is very interesting. It looks very cute. Uh, there's a, inside the shower, there's a rain shower as well as the shower head that is hollow in the middle. <laughs> and then, oh, okay. The soap is actually dispensed from a very, very generous um, bot big bottle. And then uh, it's also, I think, by the same brand, um, Urban Forest. Yes, it says over here, by blending the invigorating aroma of spices, local flowers, and tropical woods, Sofitel So Singapore's signature scent uh, accelerates the senses with an intense fragrance evocative of the urban jungle. Okay, we shall try it later and see if it really is invigorating. <laughs> Okay, uh, after we have seen the bathroom, let's take a look at the bedroom. Just this space over here, you can see. Uh, the iPad that you see over there is actually 
to act as a control for all the light switches in the room as well as I believe the TV as well and on the bed side there's no USB power outlet but only a universal power outlet on each side and in the drawer there's an emergency light torch as well as a religious um, book uh, then there's, there's the TV and three more uh, interesting Russian like Russian doll like um, uh, uh, figuring over here it's featuring the three main races of Singapore and then there's an Eiffel Tower here <laughs> Oh, okay, this is cool. Uh, complimentary mobile Wi-Fi. So if you happen to travel over here after the whole pandemic blows over, then you have the privilege of using this portable mobile Wi-Fi to bring it out and then you can be connected and update all your IG stories and whatnot. And also uh, conveniently on the study uh, desk flashed onto the bit, uh, onto the wall is where you have two universal power outlets as well as two USB power outlets. Let's take a look at what's inside the drawer. It's just the normal writing materials I believe and yep so it's the normal uh, writing materials provided as well as a, a breakfast order form for you. And then there's a magazine by the side. The lamp looks very interesting. It looks like it's made of paper just folded together. Uh, on this side of the bed is where you have a, an iPhone, which uh, you can use to actually press zero to call the front desk or the service desk. Also similarly to the right side, there's a universal power outlet here. And if you look, Below, behind where the bedside table is, there's actually a UK power outlet. The drawer has got nothing, it's empty. And then on top of the ceiling is where you get a very interesting um, photo, photograph um, plus a lamp shade kind of structure. <laughs> so, um, Apparently, this is the view that tourists prefer, but is there a view? Not much of a view, I think. <laughs> okay, so there's an interesting thing over here for us to explore. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's where the mini bar is, and they have very creatively uh, pasted this where it talks about the traditional way of serving coffee in Singapore. So you have the Kopi Tiam, which is coffee shop which means coffee shop and the various kinds of coffee and then all the glasses are over here nicely presented Nespresso machine with capsules four, four capsules as well as a very brightly coloured water heater and then um, this is where they have TWG tea okay, two sachets and then what's inside here? Oh, more! So you have this green tea and the Moroccan mint tea option in this drawer. And then you have all the condiments to go along with your tea or coffee if you prefer. So, inside this uh, mini fridge is where we are able to enjoy all this free of charge, including the mineral water and all the mixes as well as the orange juice and the carbonated drinks. Okay, let's see what's inside here. Oh, someone okay. is calling. Someone is calling. Is okay, coming. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, thank you so much. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Yay, so um, this package that we book with uh, so Sofita actually comes with a free bottle of Prosecco which is like a breath of fresh air for us. It's like because there's no lounge over here so at least we can actually enjoy uh, the bottle of Prosecco in the comfort of our room. So continuing with the drawer, so they have so healthy, sweet, salty, spicy and then all the local snacks and these are also complimentary as well. Yes, so uh, it, 
in general, the room is very small. Uh, I mean, it's small, but it encompasses all the uh, facilities and the amenities that we need. And this is not a very new property, so I think uh, to us it's still of an acceptable standard. But before we go, let me just show you where the hairdryer is. Okay, and then uh, and then we can close off. So it's a big hairdryer, powerful enough for the ladies with long hair especially. Okay, so that concludes our uh, room tour upon check-in. And then uh, as per tradition, we will do the bit test in a very short while. And let's see the view. People are smoking downstairs. <laughs> How the mini bar is being concealed, right? Until we cannot really find it. So uh, we were wondering where do we hang our clothes? And then voila, it's actually over here that there's also a wardrobe space with extra pillow and then the second bathrobe, uh, even uh, an umbrella for you and the iron and ironing board is over here okay uh, and then this is where you can have like the shoe shine and then your laundry and then this is the laundry bag and then I believe this is the in-room safe it's quite big actually yeah and is there anything else in the safe? rest of the drawer oh this is the bedroom sleepers and uh, there's also a paper bag for you to pack anything that you need and the third and fourth drawer is empty it's time to try the bed are you ready yeah one two three uh oh yes it is and it's really come, i think it has to come slightly here yeah it is soft I'm not, I didn't see that it mentioned that this is the second down my bed, but uh, it's actually it's quite comfortable. Yes. I quite like it. Yeah. I like the track count. <laughs> yeah, it's very smooth, it's very nice, comfortable, but it seems like a little bit smaller though. It's, it's like a it looks queen, like it's a queen size. It's great, but it's not clean, but I'm not sure in my booking, I didn't really check on this, but, uh, but it's actually quite comfortable. Mm. Yeah, and we are um, enjoying all the little details so mm. far. Yeah. Like, we realized that the Russian doors are actually really made in Russia. <laughs> when you lie down, you look at that, it's like you're like... Yeah, uh, sleeping, yeah sleeping yeah. under the Milan shopping street or something. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad. We're going to the pool later, and then we're going to redeem our drinks, and then we'll show you more in the gym. Yes. Call Plus member, you can order beer, wines, uh, soft drink, or juice with this voucher. And then we are having the beef, chick, and stick and fries. It's because that we saw this marking, this means that the chef's signature. Oh, thank you. So, wow, this looks good. This is the beef, chick that I ordered. It smells very nice. It looks very tender. It's super tender. Goodness. Okay, let me cut from here. It really smells very, very nice. So let me give it a try. Mmm. It is really, really good. So when you're passing by or you stay in this hotel, you must come here and try the beef chicken. It's very nice. My main course has arrived. It's the stick and fries. So. I've uh, ordered medium rare 
and it really looks medium rare to me. So I'm going to give it a try to see if um, it's how does it taste like. It's Australian grass fed beef. So it looks good. Oh, oh. Mm. I think it's one of the better beef steak that I have tried so far. Besides the one I had in Vegas. Very good. The gym is called So Fit. It's at level 2. And then we'll be switched off between 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Okay, let's go in and have a look. Long Ma Jing Sun. It's very good. So the gym here is quite small right over here, but it looks quite practical. <laughs> and then this is actually just for display. It will request you not to climb. Water dispenser right over here. Apples and then towers. This is for actually the equipment here is very advanced. It, it will have less noise that uh, when you slam the machines and this is one of my favorite machines it's very cool so two treadmill and then one Sean crossfit bicycle um, benches and dumbbell yoga ball and mirrors sleep quality right over here is not bad I'm quite okay I have a very good sleep mm. The bed is very comfortable. Mm, and it's very quiet. We are quite lucky that we actually got a room facing to the back street. So it was totally quiet. And then uh, neighbors a little bit noisy before we sleep. Yeah, but uh, all in all, I think the bed made up for everything. But I hate the pillow. The oh. pillow is really, really useless. It's a very <laughs> terrible pillow. Luckily, they have one extra thicker pillow. Uh, inside the closet that I can use it. I think the pillows are all stuffed with uh, goose feathers. It's so way it's too flat. flat. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But that's the way Europeans prefer though. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, if you go to Europe, most of the pillows are like that. Mm, okay, yeah. then the water pressure for shower are uh, very good for the rain shower, but the plastic shower head is very useless as well. Uh, hair dryer is super powerful. I got my hair dry within 10 seconds. Yeah, and so now we are heading to breakfast. We were told yesterday during turn down that mm -hmm. the breakfast will be served a la carte mm -hmm. instead of the normal buffet breakfast yeah. because of the Wuhan. lower occupancy rate. Wuhan virus. Yes, so <laughs> let's go and check out how the a la carte breakfast will be served. Let's go. This is a mixed fruits and as we mentioned earlier, due to the Wuhan virus that the breakfast will be served in a la carte style. So what you can get over here is uh, detox water, juice, uh, hot cold, hot coffee or tea and then cereal actually you can get the cereal right over here on the left side and then you can see that uh, usually it will be a buffet breakfast and then other than cereal there's a uh, muesli, the kaya toast we ordered the uh, smashed avocado and then there's also eight Benny English, bre English breakfast so fakli and then uh, nasi lemak Sean is going to have the nasi lemak and then mixed fruit mm. Ooh, this one sounds good crepe and then bread and butter pudding and this is the mixed fruit that you can get uh, how is the coffee? it's a coffee knife very good this is so smashed avo this is my first breakfast, so smash apple, and then it looks very nice. Uh, yeah, I believe it's just avocado and uh, cheese and uh, poached egg, so I don't have to uh, try and then tell you that it's good or not. <laughs> but it smells very nice with uh, lots of spice. It was actually very, very delicious. So let's see how the egg yolks will go. And, uh, ooh, perfect egg yolk. My second main course is here, it's the nasi lemak which is the Malay style coconut rice. Um, one very good advantage of um, having a la carte breakfast is every uh, dish is actually freshly prepared so I can hear them frying the chicken just now. Uh, 
Let, for, so for nasi lemak, the most important thing is actually the rice as well as the sambal chili. So I'm going to mix the two together to see how it tastes like. Mm. Okay, the sambal is a bit on the sweet side. It does not have that um, spice tangy taste to it. But um, I think um, the coconut has got a very strong hint of um, the coconut um, flavor. Uh, there's not much of a pandan flavor, so I think Jim will enjoy the coconut rice. And it looks really good. Uh, so Jim's main course is also here. I'll let him do some introduction as well. I'm having the egg benny, and then it's actually the egg benedict. Uh, I believe this is mushroom, and then there's two choices for you to choose, uh, ham or salmon. And then, yeah, I think I will just try the Holland Hollander sauce and then see whether it's nice or not. Mm. Acceptable. I decided to order the fresh crepe uh, with Nutella because um, it's a very French thing, right? So I need to try out to see um, how it tastes like. So it's freshly prepared as I can see and it's still warm and mm, you know bite into it you can feel that like it's freshly prepared but it's just like any other crepe but I think because of the fact that it's warm and it's freshly prepared Mm, it's actually quite nice and satisfying. This is our very very last order. So I've ordered the geek yogurt with the gonora and then the fluffy pancake. It looks very fluffy. So and the fluffy come with the whipped cream and I believe this uh, berries jam. So let me try. Oh my it's very fluffy. Mm, it's looking good. Yeah, I'm going to give you a try. Yeah. Hmm, that's normal. <laughs> the Wuhan virus is getting more serious in Singapore. So the entertainment, which is those bar, like cinema, all these have to be closed. So you will see that uh, this is actually 1927 bar is actually closed. So this is a swimming pool at the rooftop. And uh, if you go swim, to the corner right over the end is actually transparent underneath and then yep the bar i mean the pool here is like very comfortable and then there's also a sun deck for you to do some uh, sun tanning the water right over here is very clean it's very comfortable and it's overlooked with a lot of the tall buildings and then uh, let's have a peek right inside the 1927 bar Right over here, you are still okay to order some food and just press zero to uh, make the order and the bar, it looks like this. So it's usually it's very busy during the normal period and then the table right over here, everything still looks comfortable. So let us enjoy some uh, poolside fresh air and then we'll go to check out at 2pm and then yeah, I think it's just uh, okay pool to like do a quick swim and uh, we used to came over here a long time ago and i got very drunk and then someone uh, there's a guy uh, i have no idea because sean told me on the next day morning so that when i was drunk then someone carried me throw me into the pool with my mobile phone i think the pool water is like perfect for this weather it's not too hot and it's not too cold yeah come do a quick swim jang jang it's comfortable are you going to swim a few laps? <laughs> it's a good weather to swim. Yeah, I'm afraid I might get suntan. A little bit too hot to me now, so I can see I'm sweating. So yesterday we did a app workout, so the app is very toned. We are okay to show off our app. This is a truffle fries that I ordered earlier, and then I think Sean have to come out to try the truffle fries now. Come out, mermaid! Woo, 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 woo. <laughs>
it's end of our stay right over here. So far everything is okay, just that I hate the most is the pillow. Can I see how flat it is? It's totally useless. Two of the pillow is way too little, and then there's extra pillow in the closet. It's a very thick one, it's very useful. Uh, it's very comfortable. If you put them three together, it's still, it'll be too much. So, uh, yep. We love the breakfast uh, during the low occupancy at uh, Nom Buffet, but we quite enjoy the spread. The quality was actually super good. Mm, yeah, so uh, we enjoyed the a la carte style because um, every dish was freshly prepared from scratch and it feels like they are uh, they handcrafted with a lot of love and care. So it tastes really good and overall, um, I enjoy uh, also chilling by the poolside. Uh, although it's sunny, but today is a bit cloudy, and then there's a gentle breeze, yeah. so it feels really comfortable. And also, uh, the plus point is because this package actually comes with a free bottle of Prosecco, so that actually enhances the yeah. entire stay experience and for us. And also $80 of credit, uh, dining yeah. credits, so it's like, mm. uh, we had lunch yesterday mm. and then we ordered another two glasses of wines mm. and then another truffle fries at the pool mm. so in the end we're going to pay about seven dollars plus sing dollar yeah so. and interestingly there's a very uh interesting promotion over here so if it rains outside right and you pop in to the hotel the lounge you order a glass of their house pour it will be charged at only ten dollars net without mm. any service charge mm. so that's a very uh interesting marketing gimmick with you mm. and uh i think all in all the food and beverage um, experience in this hotel is really top notch because mm. uh even the lunch uh dishes that we had the two beef dishes that we had were really tasty and they were really prepared very well so uh we kind of really enjoyed we we kind of really rate the food and beverage offerings very high mm -hmm. for this um hotel and hope that they actually maintain the standard even though if uh, it runs at full occupancy when the pandemic blows over so the, as uh, as a echo Plus member, two two person can get fifty percent off. We think it's a very yeah. value uh membership. Yeah, have it's a paid membership, mm -hmm. but uh, it's still value for it. And I think we will still come back here if the promotion is still ongoing mm -hmm. for the price, and then you get eighty dollars of credit, and then you can have a bottle of prosecco. I will come back again for sure. Yeah, and then plus the very comfortable bit. Mm, the uh, bit is actually the trick. Uh, yeah. the my bit. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's the it's signature, signature bit. bit, which yeah. is the Sofitel My Bit. Yeah. And when you sit on it, right, you really feel like um, it's time to go to bed already. <laughs> yeah. So we had sleep, good sleep quality, it's very quiet. And yes. then I like the idea of the iPad. You can manage to control everything. Mm. Uh, you can control the TV, the light, and then aircon the curtain, and then you can mm. see all the promotions, message, and your bill. And that's, I, I quite like it very much and another plus point is that this hotel is quite centrally located in the business district mm -hmm. so it is within walking distance to La Passat which is a place where you can actually have a lot of local uh, food uh, as well as the famous uh, skewered barbecue meat which is satay uh, so there's a whole stretch of food stores that sell satay especially and then inside there's a lot of like local hawker fare as well so it's good for tourists who are first time here and they don't want to uh, venture too far out they can actually just pop over mm -hmm. across the road like less than One 50 minute. meters yeah, and then you can have good food yeah, yeah. So before we end the video, we last tips for y'all to stay in this hotel. Choose the one with the ugly view that we want. <laughs> we are having. It's very quiet. So don't get the heritage wing. Uh -huh. It will be facing in the main road. It can be noisy, I believe. So we have a very good sleep. And then maybe you get this room, 310. Yeah. You will have some of our stain rubber here. <laughs> 
<laughs> so all in all, it was a really wonderful stay for us at Soul Sofitel. We must thank the staff for their warm hospitality. Mm -hmm. And we hope that you enjoy this vlog. If you have any questions, just feel free to pop them into the comment section below. Mm -hmm. And we'll try our best to assist. Okay. And uh, if nothing more, then we will see you in our next vlog. Bye.